from a security standpoint, you want to keep track of everything that is happening within your infrastructure. And the only way you're going to be able to do that is through the use of logging mechanisms such as SNMP, Syslog, and NetFlow. However, when implemented on our devices, our devices will store all of that information locally. And that is fine, as long as nothing ever happens to our device. Where is the information going to be stored? In RAM. Random access memory. What happens when RAM loses power? It gets wiped out. So storing these messages, this logging information locally on the device in RAM is not good. So the best practice is to make sure you have external servers, such as syslog servers, SMP management servers, as well as NetFlow collectors in your organization. So that way there they can regularly grab the information or have the information sent to them that is being stored locally on the particular router. Uh, that way there, that external server, which is going to be backed up, maybe there's redundant external servers, the information is always available for us. So that way there, if something does go wrong, the router's rebooted, or there's a security breach, we can review that log information that is stored on those servers. However, we need to make sure we have accurate time. If we are at, uh, reviewing a security breach that happened at 2 a.m., was it really at 2 a.m.? So how do we make sure we have accurate time, synchronized time amongst all of our devices, amongst all of our servers? We can use Network Time Protocol, NTP, to make sure that everything is accurate. So that way there we know exactly when the breach occurred, and then we can correlate different events that have happened in the organization, maybe uh, and backtracking to see where was that point in time when all of this started to happen and then the eventual security breach occurred.